Okay, today students we begin with adverbs which is the next lesson. Yes, so first let's get to know what adverbs are. What are adverbs? Adverbs are words that modify or describe verbs, adjectives and also other adverbs. Now how do they do that? Let us look at this uh, example. He runs fast. I'm sure you must have heard this sentence. He runs fast. Now, which is the adverb? The adverb is fast. Why? Because it is talking about how he runs. Okay, it qualifies the verb run. Run is the verb and therefore fast is the adverb. He runs fast. How does he run? He runs fast. Okay. Or you may say he runs slowly. Fine. Now, next one. He runs very fast. So, we already heard, we already learned in the previous sentence that fast is the adverb. Here so, what is very fast then? So very is another adverb which is qualifying the adverb fast. Clear? So she runs very fast. He runs fast. She runs very fast. Okay. Now we have learned how the adverb is modifying the verb and the other adverb. Now what is left? Adjective. The kid is quite cute. Or we say so cute. Isn't it? The kid is so cute. So what is this adverb describing? It is actually describing the adjective cute. How cute? The type? Quite cute. Very cute. Okay. So all these are adverbs which qualify an adjective. So have you understood? Because adjectives describe nouns. The kid is cute. The cute kid. Fine. That is the adjective. But now there is a word which is describing the cuteness of the kid. That is the adjective cute. That is quite. I have given you the sentence purposely because I want you to understand and remember the spelling of the word quite. There are two quite. One is Q-U-I-T-E. Quite cute. That means to, to a certain extent. Okay. And uh, there is another quite which is Q-U-I-E-T. That means you are quiet. Quiet. Be quiet. And this is quiet. So look at the pronunciation also difference. And also look at the spelling difference. Be careful students. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. So now I am coming to the position of adverbs. Now I was uh, we had discussed in the class a very funny situation. How the word only as the adverb changing its position, you can change the meaning of the sentence. Be very careful students where you place your adverbs. We will come to this uh, in details in the next video. After we have learnt all the kinds of adverbs, I will tell you how to position the adverbs. Okay. So now just for an introduction, uh, I am only fond of chocolate ice cream. This means that you are fond of what? Only chocolate ice cream. So the word only is qualifying fond. Okay. And I have been there only once. How many times? Only once. So this word only, by looking at this, uh, whenever you have this word only in a sentence, be very careful as to what it is talking about and what is the meaning of that sentence. Okay. There are more examples given in the book. You can have a look at them. Okay. So let's begin the kinds of adverbs, students. Oh, wow. Look at the spread of the kind of adverbs. Okay. If they were all flavors of ice creams, I would lap them all. But unfortunately, they aren't so. Yes, they are different kinds of adverbs. So many. Adverb of time, adverb of place, adverb of manner, adverb of degree, adverb of frequency, adverb of reason. Adverb of affirmation, interrogative adverb, adverb of negation, a relative adverb, sentence adverb. Hold on, hold on students. Don't get, don't get worried at all. I'm going to make them so easy for you that you will not feel scared at all. You will learn all of them and it will be easy to remember each one of them. Fine. So are we ready to begin? Let's begin with the first one. And uh, please note, students, we will not do all today in the same video. We will do the first part and then we will come back to the 
remaining kinds of adverbs and then I told you I'm going to do a little bit on the position of adverbs towards the end. That will also be done along with the remaining adverbs in the next video. So let's begin. Okay, the first adverb kind of adverb is the adverb of time. See, time is the most important thing in life, students. It's very, very important. So when you do a particular job, it's important to know what time it was done, when. So adverbs of time always answer the question, when. When was it done? When was this job done? He wakes up at 6 a.m. Do you? Yes? Or the lockdown has made you uh, lazy? Come on, answer my question. Yeah, mommy is smiling and so are you. Okay, so you've understood adverb of time. He wakes up at 6 a.m. So 6 a.m. is actually the adverb of time here because it talks about what time he wakes up. Yeah, when he wakes up. And what is at? We know what is at. At is a preposition we've done in the previous lesson. Do not forget the previous lesson when you're doing the next lesson, students. Always link it up. Always link, link it up. Then you will never go wrong in your grammar. Fine. Let's move ahead now. Moving on to the next kind of adverb. If time is done, then we need to do the place. Adverb of place. So he arrived. But where did he arrive? So adverb of place will talk about where. You can talk about, you can look at the picture. The man has arrived home. He arrived home. The so home is actually the adverb of place because it describes the verb arrived. Okay, clear students? Let's move ahead. Yes, now we have adverb of manner. Adverb of manner is always telling us about how the job was done. He arrived safely or she swam swiftly. How did she swim? Swiftly. Okay. Or um, he was sitting bored. So how was he sitting? He was sitting bored. And he did this job efficiently. She sang beautifully, soulfully. Yes, Arijit Singh sings soulfully, isn't it? So these are adverbs of manner because it talks about how the job is done. So you, it answers the question. How? Clear? I think we can move ahead. Okay. Moving on to the next is the adverb of degree. Adverb of degree, from the word itself, you can make out the degree. Earlier it was the manner, which was how, and now how much the degree. He arrived late. That is the adverb of manner. Yes, he arrived late, but how late? How late did he arrive? Look at that man. He's sitting at the airport with his hands on his head. He's, he's feeling doomed. He had a one, he had a very, very important meeting, but he couldn't catch the flight. He arrived too late at the airport. So that is the degree. How much? So how often? How, dig, how much is the degree? So like, for example, he arrived too late and uh, there are too many mistakes in your assignment which rarely are, yes, so the degree is, or um, he's too cute, yes, he's too cute, or for example, uh, he's very sorry, he's very sorry, yeah, so all these are adverbs of degree, because it talks about how much the, the, the quantity, it talks about the quantity, and it talks about how much it is, fine, oh my, uh, uh, yeah, let's keep to this. Fine. There are some more examples in your book. You could have a look at them. I've given you some different examples so that you get a range. Fine. Let's move on to the next. Yes. After how and after how much, now it is how often. So we have the adverb of frequency. Now the adverb of frequency tells us how often something happens. For example, he always arrives on time or he always submits his work on time. Okay, there are some students who submit their work always on time. That is the adverb of frequency. Or there are some students who are always late for online classes. Yes, so that is 
the adverb of frequency, he never arrives on time. Look at this man, he's jumping all these clocks. He's always on time. Do you think he's like you? Does he resemble you? Or does he resemble your friend? Okay, think about it. Isn't it a good time to be always arriving on time? Yes, it's, isn't it a good thing to do that? Practice that. Punctuality is very, very important, students. Let's practice that. Okay, let's move on. Okay, we are going to do the last of the kind of adverbs today for in today's video. And that is adverbs of uh, reason. Now, we have learned about how, when, where, how much, how often. But what about why? Why is, is it happening? He arrived in time because there was a reason. He had an exam. Naughty fellow. That means usually he is not on time. But today, because there is an exam, he is on time. Does it sound like you? Yes. Or does it sound like somebody else whom you know? Yeah, you can name them. Fine. So I told you at the beginning of the lesson that I'm going to make it very, very simple to you. And by looking at the pictures, if you remember these, you will never, never forget adverbs, these kinds of adverbs. Okay. And you might have even find, found a similarity with the kinds of adjectives. Yes. So understand, students, a very basic thing that you need to understand and remember for adverbs is that Adverbs describe verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. You should remember that. And if you identify the verbs, adjectives, and adverbs in the sentence clearly, you will never go wrong with the kinds of adverbs. Okay? So, go through the lesson once more and learn it well. And let us come back with the next lesson. Yeah? Okay, then. Okay, then, students. Let's... Bit goodbye for now. So that was the lesson on adverbs. I hope you remember them. The different types of adverbs that we have done. Go through them once more. Try to solve the exercises in the book. For, uh, attempt the assignment number 17 that has been given to you. And then learn to relate your lessons with the previous lessons. And take care. Take good care of yourselves. And uh, stay safe. See you soon, students. Bye-bye. <laughs>